Hey HF, welcome back to school. I'm Kate and I'll be your host for today's show. This is our first Friday show back and we're excited to have you here. Let's get into the show. Now it's a new year, it's a new semester. Maybe last semester was hard for you? So what's something that you want to change to better yourself? Here's some New Year's resolutions. My New Year's resolution is to be um, more mindful, to be more present for my children at home, and to be more present for my children here. Um, just take the, um, take the present moment and capitalize on what we're doing either in the classroom or at home for me. My New Year's resolution is to develop a consistent workout routine that I actually do at least four times a week. All right, so my New Year's resolution is like to grow my hair out, pretty much change a lot of things about myself. New Year's resolution is to become more successful, make more money, and stay out of relationships, and become a better version of myself, and become the best man I can. What? What's your New Year's resolution? <laughs> My New Year's resolution, I, don't, I usually don't do New Year's resolutions, but this year, I, don't know, I kind of felt like I needed one. And so um, I want to start thinking a little bit more positively uh, about where, you know, my career and things are heading. Um, and I think everyone wants to do that this year. Is Sometimes we get stuck in the past and we think about the past more than we think about the future. And I don't know, I just want, to, I want the future to be bright. And so I'm going to start thinking it, because if you fake it, Maybe I'll make it. My New Year's resolution is to learn how to be a better communicator and to be more polite to people. Yeah, my New Year's resolution is to learn how to cook more. I like bake stuff, I like fire stuff on photo. And I just want to take that to like the next level. You feel me? My New Year's resolution. The first thing that I want to do is read more books. I want to take some time to exercise my mind, learn some new things. They say that readers are leaders, and I find myself just working without making intention to read, even just for pleasure. doing the Chinese New Year celebration is the year of rabbit so the Lunar New Year is Sunday this week and New Year's Eve is on Saturday so we are doing uh, dragon dance, lion's dance, dragon dance and lion's dance it's a typical celebration for Chinese New Year over the two week break I'm sure you watched a lot of TV there are a lot of shows coming out this year, and here are VTV's recommendations for you. We all know that in these next few months, winter gets long and boring, but luckily, there's an abundance of new movies and shows to binge. Let's see the top five films that should be on your list for this cold season. First up, Disney's Avatar, The Way of Water. This movie came out December 18th and tells the story of Jake Sully as he attempts to make sure his Navi family sticks together, despite the conflict of exploring his home of Pandora while the military tries to destroy his home and family. If you haven't seen this intense film yet, be sure to go see it in theaters now. Next, a Netflix original show, Kaleidoscope. The eight-part series, unique for its shuffle ordered, is based on an epic heist worth $7 billion but betrayal, greed, and other threats undermine these thieves' plans. Season one of Kaleidoscope came out January 1st and has only good reviews since. Moving on to the newest Marvel movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. This being Ant-Man's third movie, it features the famous duo Ant-Man and the Wasp as they work together to explore the quantum realm while facing new creatures and taking major risks to discover the impossible. The movie comes out February 17th, so keep your eyes peeled for theater tickets. Soon after Ant-Man, the Netflix hit Outer Banks will be coming out with their third season. Season three will be packed with action, adventure, and romance as the Pogues search for more treasure with some bumps along the way. Get your popcorn ready as this season releases on February 23rd. Lastly, look out for Creed 3 coming to theaters on March 3rd. After dominating the boxing world in the previous movies, Adonis Creed must face a former friend from prison who has nothing to lose, making for an intense film. 
These are just a few of the big hits that can help you pass the time while stuck inside in the cold. With this list, you have no excuse to be bored in these upcoming colder 2023 months. Who you got in the Super Bowl? As most of you know, the NFL playoffs have started and the Super Bowl is coming up. I have my money on the Dallas Cowboys, seeing as though we just beat Tom Brady and we're on to the 49ers. Here's the pick some people at HF are making. Finally, that time of year, the time of year football fans love most, it's time for the Super Bowl. This year's Super Bowl will be played February 12th at the State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. So we took to the halls of HF to see who students think will play in this year's big game. But I guess now I'm going to root for the Bills. I want the Bills to win because they seem to be the team of destiny. So, yeah, I'm going to root for the Bills. Uh, I got the Bengals in the Super Bowl really because Jamar Chase reminded me of me. You know, back in my day, I used to play receiver. Well, I'm going to go with the worst team, the Jacksonville Jaguars, just because they weren't supposed to beat the Chargers. And, you know, the 49ers, I ain't going to say what I want to say. Yeah, the Bills, because it's so versatile, they got offense and defense. And they got a super power off. I think, I'm hoping that the Bills win it this year. I think most of America is probably going to rally behind them as well after what happened with Hamlin. And uh, just a great story, I think. And, you know, sports are about stories. So I'm going to go with that. So how far do you think your team will go? Once again, the big game will be played Sunday, February 12th. Reporting from VTV, I'm Aluma Lawal. For the next few weeks, the staff at the VBC will be taking a break from production shows and focus on their upcoming state projects. With that being said, the second year VTV class will take over for us. Here's a story on what to expect. Every year during the month of February, the VTV staff takes a month off creating VTV shows to work on their videos for the state video contest. But who takes over VTV? The Production 2 class. They'll do everything the VTV staff does, including making segments, doing live shows, and running the VBC. This is their chance to show if they have what it takes to be on the VBC staff next year. The Production 2 class are up for the challenge in preparing for their month of new responsibilities. I'm pretty excited. I think that we have a good plan and ideas to show the school that we can and are capable of taking over and producing a good VTV for this next month. I think we're pretty excited. I'm looking forward to it and just to like see what it's like and have the real experience. But I'm also kind of nervous, just we don't really like, we haven't done it before. As for the seminar class, they'll be handing off these responsibilities and trusting Production 2 to run the VBC. This three-week time period is vitally important to their hopes of winning state. The time off that we take is going to be pretty important for us coming out with the best uh, projects that we can. Um, it's going to take a lot of time shooting, editing, coming up with ideas. Um, so I think to having this time off and letting the younger group take over is not only a good uh, thing for us, but it also exposes them to kind of our everyday. Usually these state projects take so much time and effort because we have to make them to perfection. So I think it's great that the younger class is stepping up and we also get to see them anchor and make segments. So I'm excited to see what they have to bring. I think they're going to do great. They're excited. They've already been talking for the last month about neat new segments that they want to bring into the show. Uh, so I think their enthusiasm and, and everything is going to uh, bring a little bit different spin to the show and I, I think everybody's going to like it. Production 2 takes over starting next week and will continue through February 23rd. So get ready for some new, fresh ideas from the future of VTV. Reporting for VTV, I'm Ella Aceves. Can you sing? Can you rap? Maybe do a little dancey dance? A little magic? Well, HF is hosting its very own talent show. And this is something you would definitely want to be at. Check it out. Are you ready? for HF's first ever talent show. February 3rd, in the HF Auditorium, students will be able to show off their talents like dancing, rapping, my name's Brent, I pay you rent, I got money so it's money real spent, and so much more. But that's not all. With interactive games throughout the show and the audience being able to vote on which contestant gets the $100 winning prize, the audience will get a piece of the action. So be sure to head to the campus store for the HF Town Show. I hope you enjoyed our first Friday show back. We have so much more planned for you throughout the year. Keep tuning in, it will keep you up to date with everything that's happening at HF. 
For VTV, I'm Caden Wesley. How about them Cowboys? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. I, 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 I. Now let's roll the intro. So what's something that's good to help you change better yourself? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Over the two week. <laughs> week, 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 week. All right, come on. Tom Brady in the box. Here's some picks for people at HF that they're making. No. At and check it out.